Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. This is the gladiatorial arena that is the Stadio Olimpico for so long the symbol of Rome's grand sporting history. The strains of the national anthem of Brazil. Got the juices flowing, and now this. Japan have opted for a 4-5-1 formation, it appears, Jim. Well, if you want to secure a clean sheet, Peter, this is a very good way of going about it. It adds discipline and lends a stubbornness to that midfield, which can stifle opposition attempts to, to play through, and it takes a lot of pressure off your defence, of course. Forces longer passes through the aerial route. So, all things considered, that extra layer across midfield is highly, highly effective. And that gets things running. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Marquinhos. He's one of the toughest and most competitive centre-backs in the business. He's the kind of player you can rely on to always be just where you need him, making a vital interception or just making life difficult for the opposition to get through. And that's a, a very valuable characteristic. Well, quite no argument from me on that one. Ball is over the line. There are a few waiting for it. Alexandro goes for the cross. Yoshida with the clearance. Saka. Shibasaki. Done very well to intervene. Marquinhos. Arthur. Marquinhos. Marquinhos plays it forward. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Arthur. Nagatomo. Neither of the teams has yet taken the initiative. Shibasaki. Well, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement? Forget it. Alexandro. Alexandro. Fabinho tries to get it forward quickly. 
Richarlison. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Alexandro. And it's Coutinho. He hits it! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Now it's Osako. That's a terrific surge down the right. Nicely controlled. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Alexandro. Marquinhos. Hoists it forward. Alexandro. Thiago Silva passes it forward. Nagatomo. And it's played forward. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Shibasaki. And here's Osako. Loses his balance and loses the ball. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal. And he didn't go for the back heel. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Heading towards half time and it is still scoreless. Osako is onto it and can take it up. He's left his man, gets wrestled off the ball. He's gone out for a throw-in. Ball's out on the left, now. More than happy to take the muscular approach. And here's Osako, attempts to play it through, Nagatomo, aimed in towards the centre. Thiago Silva can get it clear, Richarlison, questions, and the whistle goes for half-time. So the other team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. And we're already back on the way here. No score in the first half. Who's ready to go for it now? Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Shibasaki. Shibasaki goes looking. Now it's Osako. Oh, that's nice. And it's Shibasaki. Nagatomo. Shibasaki. Fabinho battles to win it back. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Well, he just had too many touches and he was asking for it to be pinched off him. Forward it goes. Arthur.
Marquinhos goes looking. He could have been in, just needed a better final ball. Brazil just had to make the ball stick, but came up short. Shibasaki. 60 minutes played. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection of what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Lucas Paqueta. He's had a shot! And yes, it's there! Just the pick-me-up the whole game needs! Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch. So we have our breakthrough. The perfect display and the old saying comes to mind when the going gets tough, etc. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Fabinho. So Jim, what are you thinking? Japan are not doing enough to get themselves back in the game. They're not as threatening as their opposition. It's got to change. Yoshida plays it forward. Hoists it forward. Oh, they've seen lots of the ball. Trying to go for it a bit, a bit of creativity and adventure. Osako plays it out to the wing. Nagatomo. There's the delivery. And that's been leave it clear. Japan are definitely going about this the right way. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. It just has to be done. Ederson can claim that. Fabinho, Danilo, Fabinho, Richarlison, played out to the right, gorgeous control there, played into the middle, cleared away, this is good ball retention and it should be enough from here but they want to double their advantage. It's on a plate, it's a Osako! Japan are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Richarlison. Arthur. Tries to get it forward quickly. Brazil are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. Good ball. Marquinhos can hoist it clear. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's got to be a change. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. To the left it goes. Away from immediate danger. Fabinho proves too strong there. Philippe Coutinho. 
Alexandro. Philippe Coutinho. Brazil probably could have killed things off, but they should K here. The changes then in quick succession. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Lovely bit of skill, drilled in low. So that's it, it is all over. One goal settled it, a tense and exciting game that just got away. Well, there's no shortage of effort and commitment from them. They were just undone by that 